If you want to boost your FPS from this to this, in this video, I'll show you the newest fish strap settings to help you achieve high FPS and low ping for a smoother gaming experience in 2025. We're diving deep into all the key tweaks to boost your performance and say goodbye to lag and stuttering in Roblox. So let's get started. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Optimizing Roblox using fish strap. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you the latest fish trap settings to help optimize Roblox for the best performance. First, go to the fish strap folder in the pack and open the fish strap application. This tool helps adjust various performance settings to make your game run smoother and faster by reducing lag and improving FPS. Once the application is open, make sure you select the right settings to get the best results. After launching the program, follow the upcoming steps to tweak your Roblox settings for maximum performance. Integrations Got integrations. It is kind of the same as Blockstrap, but we got player logs this time. It shows the players leaving during your session. This is actually kind of a cool feature. You can see who's leaving and who's joining. Besides that, Discord presence is now available. Bootstrapper We already know about that. Bootstrapper has some different things here like the ability to rename Roblox and in multi-instance loading so you can have two accounts while playing and stuff like that. Blocktrap had that at the beginning but it is not working anymore. Deployment Deployment is just about updating stuff. Fishtrap's Roblox version hash allows you to go back to an old Roblox version if you want to. Mods and mods You've got your presets, default sounds old character models, font changes and fast flags. Fast flags this is the place to be. What I like here is that it's more organized. If you just wanted to use fast flags, they would be up here, and if you wanted to use a preset, it would be down here. One thing I like about this is that you can disable Roblox telemetry. This only disables some of the Roblox tracking features, but you should turn this on. Now, next you need to download fast flags. Just click on the file and open it, then copy all the text inside. Make sure to copy all of it. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now open your fish strap program and run it as administrator. After opening it, go to the option to add new for JSON and quickly paste all the text you copied. Click OK then, yes, yes again, and it should paste all the text in. Rendering and graphics. Next, we go to rendering and graphics. Scroll down to anti-alias and quality and set it to one. Disable player shadows, turn this on and turn this on. For the frame limit, you can either use zero, which will use the Roblox cap, or set it to 99999. For rendering mode, set it to either Vulkan or Direct3D10. A lot of people use Vulkan because they say it gives an FPS boost, but for today's video, I'm using Direct3D10 because that's what I'm used to. For texture quality, set it to the lowest or level two. For the sake of this video, I'm setting it to the lowest. Roblox menu. Now onto the Roblox menu. You'll see all these options, but you don't really need to touch them because they are already automatically enabled. If you uncheck them, they will come back, but you don't have to worry about this because it has already optimized your Roblox. Appearance. If you want to change the appearance, go here. You can change the style, the icon, and other settings. If you see a downloading message, don't worry, it shouldn't affect anything. When you load it up, it may take a moment because I just downloaded it right now, so it should look the same for you. Step two, using park control to boost CPU performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to use Park Control to get maximum performance from your CPU. This application helps optimize processor settings, allowing your computer to run faster and smoother, especially during gaming. First, open Park Control and scroll down to select a performance profile. Choose Bitsum Highest Performance from the list to ensure that your CPU is operating at its full potential. After selecting this profile, check the following settings. Parking AC. Disable it and set it to 100%. Parking DC. Disable it and set it to 100% frequency scaling AC. Disable it and set it to 100% frequency scaling DC. Disable it and set it to 100%. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This feature automatically disables unused threads when performing light tasks, such as browsing, but activates all available CPU threads when gaming. This ensures that you get optimal performance and higher FPS during gameplay. 
After adjusting these settings, go to Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance to make sure your CPU is always running at its best. Before finishing, double-check that all settings are set to 100% for maximum performance. Finally, click Make Active and apply to save your changes. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Optimizing system. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Memory with ISLC. In this step, I'm going to show you how to optimize your system memory using the ISLC program. This tool helps manage RAM usage and ensures that your computer is running efficiently. Start by setting the list size to half of your system's total memory. You can check your total memory at the top of the ISLC program window. If it displays 32,000 ma, me or by type 16,000. If it displays 16,000, yes, you type 8,000. Next, check the following options. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon. On the right side, check. Enable timer resolution and set it to 0.5 row. Leave the ISLC polling rate at 1000 unless your system is very slow, then change it to 1000. After configuring these settings, click Stop then Start and finally purge standby list to complete the setup. That's it for today's guide. I hope this helped you understand how to use Fish Trap to improve FPS and optimize performance. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more tips. Check out my other guides for further gaming optimizations. Thanks for reading, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.